Hey, I'm Sam, and today I'm going to teach you how to use short codes to level up your WooCommerce store. We'll cover the basics about how short codes work, show you how and where to use them on your website, and get a little creative, giving you the tools to use them all on your own. First, we'll take a look at the default WooCommerce shortcodes. Then we'll see how to use shortcodes provided by other plugins to display products in more efficient and effective ways. So strap yourself in. This is going to be a big one, but I think you'll really appreciate the results. Now you've probably come across shortcodes before, whether you're new to WordPress or you've been around the block, they're basically just little strings of code that anyone can use to perform some kind of function on your website. In our case today, we're going to use WooCommerce shortcodes to add products in different unique ways to pages on our website, or you can even add them to the widget or sidebar areas and all kinds of other places in between. But today I just want you to understand the basics of how to use them so you can do it for yourself. Although they sound a little bit technical, shortcodes are designed for anyone to use. No coding skills are required. To use a shortcode, simply type or paste it into any text editor within WordPress or into a shortcode block if you're using Gutenberg or a page builder such as Elementor. Here's a page I created entirely using shortcodes. And by the end of this video, you'll be able to do the same and much more. So now let's see how this looks on the back end. You can see that each section after the title has a shortcode telling WooCommerce what to display on the page. But I'm not a coder, so how did I know what to write in each one? Well, that's where we need some help from WooCommerce. I've linked below to a page with all the shortcode variations, and I suggest you open it and use it to follow along with the video. We also wrote a complete WooCommerce shortcode guide on our blog that will give you all the shortcodes that I'm using in this video, as well as some more details about how to use each one. Also, keep in mind the following formatting rules. Use lowercase letters and underscores for text, add spaces between the variables, and enclose everything with square brackets. Great, now that we have that out of the way, let's get into using our first shortcodes. Let's start by talking about page shortcodes. When you install WooCommerce, it automatically adds three different pages to your website, the cart, the checkout, and the My Account page. These can also be added anywhere on your site with shortcodes, along with additional order tracking, which looks like this. I'll put the different shortcodes on screen now, and you can simply copy and paste them from our blog article anytime you need them. So to give you an example of how this might be used, I like having my products listed in a table format with the WooCommerce product table plugin. And if I'd like to, I can add the checkout below it, which effectively enables one page ordering. This does require an extra plugin and we have an article about it, which is also linked in the description below. All right, now it's time to talk about product list shortcodes. Going back to my custom shop page, I used product list shortcodes to build it. To clarify, these are the ones that begin with the word products. The product shortcode allows you to display products on a page and you can define them based on dozens of different attributes. You can combine many of these attributes to create different custom lists of your products and basically make it so you have exactly which products you want to display. So to show you how this works, I'll go back to the editor now. To display products, that are in a category like clothing, for example, I can write products space category equals and in quotation marks clothing and then close that up with the square brackets. And that's what this looks like here, clothing category. Now that's handy, but if I want those clothes to be sorted by popularity, I can add something to the shortcode now by adding a space and then the words order by equals and add quotation marks on popularity. Well, now we have updated the short code and let's see what that looks like. Cool, and it's just updated slightly based on the popularity of the items. If you prefer to have more or less items per line in the block format, you can choose the number of columns. So in this case, I'll add a column by creating columns equals four. Cool, we'll update that. And let's see how that looks. 
So you can see how this works by finding and adding in different attributes to your shortcode. You're creating a more customized list and display options for your different products. Here are three shortcodes you might want to use. Just keep in mind that each of these can only be used in isolation from the others. On sale retrieves on sale products. Best selling retrieves the best selling products and top rated retrieves the top rated products. Cool. Now let's work through a scenario. Let's say now that I want to display my featured products two per row with a maximum of four items. Let's add short code. And here's what I would need to write. Products with a limit of four, columns equals two, visibility equals featured. And let's update that and see what happened. Here we go. Here's our scenario where two columns are shown with a maximum of four items, but in this case, we only have products for three. So we might wanna add one more product before we publish that. Here's a quick one. If you want, you can just create one page for one product by using the ID or SKU number. Here's the shortcode you need to add, product underscore page with the ID of the specific product that you're adding. And here's how that looks. On the single product page, this retrieves the product with the ID number that you put in your shortcode, which in this case was 84. Now let's talk about how to add quick view shortcodes. A WooCommerce quick view shortcode provides an excellent way to learn more about products. You can choose options and add them to your cart without leaving the current page. If you want this functionality, you'll need to purchase and install the WooCommerce Quick View Pro plugin from Barn2. Once this is set up, you can use shortcodes to display these Quick View boxes in one of a few ways on your store. As we already saw, you can list one or more products using the WooCommerce products shortcode. The shortcode works seamlessly with WooCommerce Quick View Pro, which adds Quick View buttons to products like this. Customers can then open the products, choose the items or attributes that they want, and add them to cart all without leaving the page. Or if you prefer, there's an individual quick view button shortcode. This displays quick view buttons individually, so you can easily insert them into other content on your site, such as blog posts. To add a quick view button to something like a blog post, you simply need to add the shortcode quick view, and then ID equals the product ID number. If you want to modify the text on the button, you can do so by adding text equals and then by polo, for example, whatever you want to put in there in quotation marks, and that will be reflected on the button itself. While the built-in WooCommerce product shortcode is pretty flexible, it's not really ideal because it creates this grid layout like I've shown you. If you want to show more products per page, a table layout is definitely the way to go. And you can accomplish this with the WooCommerce product table plugin from Bar2, which is also linked in the description. You might want this sort of table layout if you are selling in bulk, like a wholesaler or grocery store, or if you wanna create a quick one page order form for your customers. Now, this table is added with a short code on a new page, so for example, the basic short code is just product underscore table, but I've defined some more specific attributes. For example, the columns of the table and how it's sorted in terms of price. And with over 50 different options, you can actually customize this any way you like. Of course, the documentation for that will be available on our website too. Now, I hope this isn't too confusing, but we're gonna talk about the product categories shortcodes. Now, <laughs> I know this sounds a lot like products by category, but it's actually what you need if you wanna list the different categories next to each other on your shop page, like I've shown you already. Here, I've got shop by category, and I'm using product underscore categories with a limit of four and ordering by name. You can change that to uh, anything you like, so it doesn't have to be alphabetical. Or if you change this from ASC to DESC, then it will go in reverse alphabetical order. So you see how flexible these shortcodes really are. And I'll show you how it looks on the page. This is showing you the different categories, clothing, health and fitness, 
hoodies, shirts, and any other categories that you may have, you can choose to list them. If you don't put a limit, it will list all the categories, or if you put a limit, say two or four categories, it'll just show that many in the order that you specified. Now, the same thing applies to a bunch of other short codes. Basically, if you start the short code with a certain set of words, it'll bring up a different list of products. So for example, you can put in recent products. With recent underscore products, it will bring up something like this, a list of products by how recently they were added. And similarly, you can do the same for featured products, sale products, or your all-time best-selling products. However, if you're using the WooCommerce product table, you can achieve the same thing, but with the more functional table layout. So for example, you can order the table based on price, or the reviews, or something similar to that. All I need to do is specify what kind of thing I want in the shortcode for the product table. So for example, I can change my product table to look something like this product table sort by equals popularity, sort order equals descending, and product limit equals five. All right, related products. So related products are products that show up underneath or next to the products that you have on the main product page. The first way to add this is with the WooCommerce related products shortcode, which lists related products anywhere on your WordPress site. To use it, add the shortcode related underscore products with a per page limit of three, for example. I do think this is a little bit bulky and cumbersome. Also, I think it's bad that you have to scroll all the way down to see the related products. So you might consider a table layout for this as well. We have an entire blog article dedicated just to this purpose if you wanna check it out, also linked in the description. All right, so now hopefully you have all the tools you need to use shortcodes on your own website. Thanks for sticking with me through this entire tutorial. Remember, the write-up for this is below, and I recommend reading it for additional information and so you can copy and paste those shortcodes directly into your own website. If you do want to purchase the WooCommerce product table or the QuickView Pro plugins, remember that anything you purchase from Barn2 comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you can test them out risk-free. So I hope you've seen how short codes can help you improve your WooCommerce store and help you to create custom pages any way that you like. But don't stop there. Watch this video next to see how to customize the add to cart button on your WooCommerce store. And thanks for watching.